Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 2 Unit 2.5 Notes Day 2. Today we're continuing our discussion on applications of linear systems with two variables. Our learning target today is to be able to solve application problems involving systems of equations in two variables. So, remember that we need to set up a system of equations and solve it in order to answer each of the following problems. Number 1. Says so Robbie Gold is the place kicker for the Chicago Bears. In one game, he was successful in making all seven of his kicks and scored a total of 13 points. Field goals are worth three points and extra points are worth one point. How many field goals did he kick and how many extra points did he kick? So at the very end, it's asking us our two questions. So we need to label X and why, okay? So the two things that they're talking about are the different type of kicks, right? All right, there's the field goals and the extra points, okay? And they talk about field goals first, so that's gonna be my X is field goals and Y is extra points, okay? So, I know that a field goal, field goals are worth three points, extra points are worth one, and then we also know that he, in one game, was successful making all seven for a total of 13 points. Okay? So, the thing that's different about this one is they're kind of mixing some information up together. Okay, so I need to put the points together with the points. So I know that 13, three points, and one point, all of those go together. Okay, so I know that 3x plus 1y equals 13 points, and then just kicking them together, his x's and his y's together, equals 7. So what do you want to cancel? Uh, I think the easiest to cancel would be the y's. So you can multiply either the top or the bottom. I'm just going to multiply the bottom and I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. Okay, so we have 3x plus 1y equals 13 and multiply by negative 1. So we get negative 1x minus 1y equals negative 7. Okay, my y's cancel. I'm left with 2x equals 13 minus 7 is 6. Divide by 2. And we get that x equals 3. And then to solve for y, I'm going to plug that in. So 3 plus y equals 7. Subtract the 3 to both sides, and we get that y equals 4, okay? And then those two answers, okay, the 3 and the 4, tell us that he kicked uh, 3 field goals and 4 extra points. Okay, so the hard thing about today is some of the information is going to be jumbled up and we have to put it together. So, a hotel has 130 rooms, some with single beds and some with double beds. Okay, uh, the rooms with single beds cost $45 a night and the rooms with double beds cost $75 a night. Last Friday, all the rooms were occupied and the total revenue for the night was $8,100. How many of each type of room, so here's our question, how many of each type of room does the hotel have? Well, the two types of room is single beds and double beds. Okay, so X is gonna equal single beds and Y equals the double beds. 
Now let's figure out all the times they talk about money. So they say $45 a night, $75 a night, total of $8,100, okay? So the single was 45, so we get 45X. The double was 75, so that's 75Y, and that equals 8,100. Now our other total that we need is the total amount of rooms, and there's 130 rooms. So if you take the X, plus the y, it's going to equal 130. All right, so we need to figure out what we're going to cancel. And I think the easiest to cancel here would be the x's. And to do that, we would need to multiply the bottom not by just 45, but by a negative 45. OK, so the top equation stays the same, 45x plus 75y equals 8,100. And then this is going to turn into negative 45x, negative 45y. And then I'm going to need the calculator to do negative 45 times 130. That's negative 5,850. OK, x is cancel. 40, 75 minus 45 is 30. And then we need to do 8,100 minus 5,850. And then we get 2,250, I believe, right? And then we're going to divide that to get the y by itself by 30. So we just did the math. So now I'm just going to show the work. We're dividing by 30. And we get that y equals 75. OK. And now we have to plug it back in. So I'm going to plug it back into the x plus y one. So x plus 75 equals 130. I picked that one just because x is already by itself. So it's going to be a little bit easier to solve. And then 130 minus 75, 130 minus 75, and we get 55. OK, so how many uh, of each type of room? Well, it has 55 single beds and 75 double beds. All right, let's look at the next one. Westlake High School and Southlake High School compete against each other in soccer games. Uh, entrance fees to the game were $5 for adults, $2 for students. If the total ticket revenue was $240 and there were a total of 72 spectators there, how many adults and students attended the game? So what I want you to do, pause the video, See if you can figure out what X and Y is, and see if you can set up the equation. I'm curious to see if you can do it. Okay, pause the video, and good luck. Okay, we'll work on the equation together, but just know that X was adults and Y is students. Now, please don't be confused with right away they talk about the two different schools, okay? we need to look at the question and what it's asking us. They're saying how many adults and how many students attended the game. So those are the two things that we care about, okay? Now, all of the money is an equation. So 5x plus 2y equals 240. And now our other number, the 72, they're saying there's a total of 72 spectators. Well, the spectators were the ad adult and the students. OK, what do you want to cancel, x's or y's? Yeah, I think it's easier to cancel the y's, because all we have to do is multiply that bottom equation by negative 2. OK, so 
Um, we'll go ahead and do it together. So we get 5x plus 2y equals 240 on the top. And on the bottom, negative 2x minus 2y. And don't forget about that last guy, 72 times negative 2 to get negative 144. Okay, our y's cancel. 5 minus 2, we get not negative 3x, but 3x. And that equals 240 minus 144, 96. And to solve for x, we have to divide both sides by 3. And we get that x equals, I believe, it's 32. Well, let's double check. We're going to divide that answer by 3, and we get 32. Good job, Mr. Grice. Okay, so that's our x, but we still need to figure out the y. So we go into 32 plus y equals 72. This is going to tell us how many students there were. We subtract 32 to both sides. 72 minus 32 is 40. Okay, so at the at the end, we have to put everything together. So how many adults and students attended the game? There were 32 adults and 40 students. Okay, now don't be scared with the decimals. Let's see if you can figure everything out. Think you can do it? A family of eight got to dinner. Chicken dinners cost $10.95 and steak dinners cost $14.95. Their total bill for the night was $99.60. How many of each type of dinner did they order? Okay. So see if you can set up the equations, and I'll come back and talk about it. Pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so my X and Y were the chicken and the steak dinners, because those are the two types of dinner choices that they had. So I knew that the chicken was ten ninety five, the steak was fourteen ninety five. And their total bill was ninety nine sixty. So all of the money came together to create its own equation. And I knew that together there were eight people. And then we added x plus y. Okay. So to cancel, I'm going to cancel the x's because it's the smaller number. And when I'm multiplying by decimals, I want to multiply the smallest. So I'm just going to rewrite the top equation, 1095x plus 1495y equals 99.60. And then we'll get negative 10.95x minus 10.95y. And that equals, I got to do negative 10.95 times 8 to get negative 87.6. And that's 60, because we're talking about money. Uh, 1095, or 1495 minus 1095, I believe that's 4y. It's early in the morning, so I'm just going to double check it with my calculator. Good. Um, and then we have to do 9960 minus 8760. And that equals 12. And then when we divide both sides by 4, that worked out very nice. Then we get y equals 3. Okay. And now that we know that y equals 3, x plus y equals 8. Subtract the 3 to both sides. And we get that x equals 5. Oh, that doesn't even look like a 5, Mr. Grace. There we go. 
So those are our two answers. Now we need to go back and label them. So how many types of each dinner? There were five chicken dinners, because that was our X. And there were three steak dinners. All right, let's go ahead and flip it over. What do we got here? We got five, six, seven. All right. So number five, once again, let's see if you can pause the video and set up as much of it that you can on your own. Pause the video and good luck. Okay, so uh, they're talking about adult and children. They mentioned adults first, so adults was X, children or Y. 16X plus 12Y equals 568 because all of the money goes together. And then they said there are 42 people, and the 42 people were adults and children. So we know if we add those together, it'll equal 42. Okay, so this is going to be the last one that we kind of solve together. So I'm going to cancel the y's because those are the smaller number. So I'm going to multiply by negative 12. On the top, we get 16x plus 12y equals 568. And then distributing that negative 12, we get negative 12x minus 12y. And then 42 times negative 12 equals negative 504. Okay, my y's cancel. 16 minus 12, we get 4x. And 568 minus 508, I believe is 64. But once again, we're going to double check. It's 504, right? Yep. 64. And then I know that I'm going to have to divide that by 4 to get my final answer. So we get that x equals... 16. Okay, so now that we know what x is, we can plug back in and I plug into the bottom equation. You could plug into the top equation, it's just going to be a lot more work. So we're subtracting 16 to both sides, and y equals 26, because 42 minus 16 is 26. Okay, so how many adults and children were at the festival? There were 16 adults, and there were 26 children. All right, so for number six, you're going to set it up, and then I'll come back. And I'll show you what I got to make sure you set it up right. And then you're going to solve it on your own. Okay? So number six, go ahead and set it up. Remember, they're talking about each type of tickets. Pause the video. Good luck. Okay, so they're talking about students and adult tickets. They mentioned students first, so students was X, adults was Y. 7X plus 10Y equals 473. All the money goes together. And then X plus Y equals 53. Okay, so this is what I would cancel, but you can do whatever you want. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and then all together we got that y equals 34 and x equals 19. So how many of each ticket did they sell? Well, they sold 19 students and 34 adult tickets. All right. Last one. 
You are all on your own. I'm not going to give you any assistance. Pause the video. Good luck. Okay, so there's all of my work, and I'm putting my final answer together right now. So, Mr. Mitchell sold 12 t-shirts and 20 temporary tattoos. How'd you guys do on that? Did you do good? Remember, if you need the extra help, come see Ms. Carranza or myself. All right. The challenge, when Joey has $45 worth of quarters and dimes in his piggy bank, if he has a total of 210 coins, how many of each coin does he have? Okay, so if you want to challenge yourself, see if you can figure that one out on your own. Pause the video and good luck. Okay, so they're talking about quarters and dimes. You got to remember when they're talking about money, they didn't tell you how much the quarter was and how much the dime was. Um, you should know that yourself. So a quarter is worth 0.25 and a dime is worth 0.10. So we would put all of the cost, all of the uh, money together. And then the bottom would just be the X plus the Y equals 210. I didn't show my work on how to solve it, but I did leave my answer, okay? Now, if you need help with this, and you're having trouble, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. You know we would love to help you out. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off for Algebra 2, Unit 2.5 Notes, Day 2. Thanks for watching.